Hello everyone, I'm host Jack, aka Wallowis16, here with episode 3 of my Pokemon Sapphire Westlock. Before I get into the the video, I have a quick little message for y'all. Before I started recording this, my computer crashed. I I had to like save it repeatedly for like 30 minutes. I couldn't do anything about it until like a few minutes ago. So my so my message is if any obstacles face you in life, conquer them. Just keep going at it. It's what I did here. If I didn't keep trying to fix my uh, fix fix my laptop just now, I wouldn't be able to record it. I wouldn't be able to put content out for y'all. So I thank God every day for this opportunity in life to record this, to have the uh, to have the equipment to record this, to have this laptop, this 15 year old laptop that is absolutely terrible. This this is what I have to work with right now. If I just keep striving for my goal which is to get big nothing will stop me no, nothing will stop you if you strive for your goals and i just wanted to say that if any if if anything hits you wrong if if there's any obstacles in your way just conquer them there's nothing better uh there's there's nothing wrong with trying there's nothing wrong with trying to conquer your down bringings so now that I've said that, I'm gonna get into the video. So let's check out my team. I got Luke right here. He's one one level away from evolving. Um, this episode, I'm gonna try to get through Petalburg Woods. I'm gonna try and <clears throat> um, maybe battle uh, Roxanne. Let's see what I can encounter here first. That's pretty cute. Um, I'm also very close to evolving right now. Sorry. Um, so I'm actually going to... Oh, that was a crit. Um, I'm going to get this item that's down. That's right here. Find a repel. That's good. But there's also an item down here too. Sorry if I'm a little low on low on energy. Um, Clint Sag is pretty good. Um, I just had to go through that whole laptop stuff, and it really bummed me out. Like I, I, I couldn't do anything about it. And it, it just really bummed me out. But thank God I'm here. Um, I'm I'm about to battle this like six six Pokemon guy right here. They're all like level three though, so it shouldn't be a big problem. And I should be evolving after this battle, actually. So down that Azumarill. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, Drizzle. Um, gonna knock out this Natsu real quick. Get that nice little level up. Get myself a little flaffy. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed last episode. Um, it was a really fun fun episode to do. It was pretty scary, like, once I battled that Polyrath. But... Okay, this thing isn't ground type yet. But, yeah. Ba yeah, ba uh, battling that Polyrath la last episode. It definitely scared me because I couldn't one-shot it. But... I thought that submission would have done way more damage. So, yep. Yeah. Got the soul nine tails right here. About to kill that. It's a crit. 114. May, may, uh, maybe I can get two levels out of this battle. That would be pretty cool, actually. I can't wait till I get a, a a better ability on this thing too. Defense drop, don't care. I'm not gonna be able to get two levels out of this unless it's do duo. This is probably one of the easiest turns I've battled so far, strictly because they're all level three. Going in a thunderstruck that. And then, it's the moment of truth right now.
Dude, Luke's evolving. Let's go. Got that ni nice little Flaffy. Flaffy, Flaffy, Flaffy. We're, we're about to have a Flaffy party in this one, boys. Hopefully, Luke has a really good nature. I would be a little upset if it has something as bad as Swarm again. Yo! That's such a good ability. Ups defensive suffering. Dude. I, I gotta look up what that means, but I'm guessing it's like if I'm less than half HP, it's gonna up my defense. Which is a really, really good nature. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue through this force. I'm gonna grab this item over here. A nest ball. That could be good with catching my next Pokemon. But, let's see our new Flaffy in action right here. Against this Iggly buff. Yo, he looks so sick. Of course he misses his first tackle too. <laughs> um, before I battle Roxanne though, I'm, I'm, pro I'm probably going to have one more uh, little, little, uh, little grind session. Probably going to grind to like level 20 or 21 or 22. Just in case she has like a really strong ground type. Because I would not want to battle battle a level 15 or 14. I forgot what level her nose pass is, but I would I would hate to battle a, a level 14 ground type right now. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in the Petalburg Woods. However, or forever, didn't you? <laughs> I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. I. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You, you got to help me, please. Huh, you didn't know? Wait, who's talking right now? What do you think you're doing? What, you're gonna protect him? No one crosses Team Aqua without... No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright. Developer Mallory wants to battle. Don't burn. Okay, thank you. This might kill. Dude, really? Oh no, don't. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, thank you. Well, <clears throat> that's a little bit of a scare. I don't really like battling charges, but I am level 16 now. Almost got two levels out of that, too. That's crazy. Grr, you got some nerve battling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. Wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Phew, that was too awfully close. Thanks, too. He didn't rob me of those important papers. I know. I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Obtained a great ball. Now, I really hope Luke doesn't die. But in the event that, that he does, that great ball would come in pretty good help later. Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. So, that's not a trainer. That, that's a ledge guy, right? Yeah, the, if Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you stay out of tall grass. It's kind of avoid, hard to avoid this tall grass right here. Of course, we got Metapods also. So, I think my randomizer that I made is that w is that wild pokemon are at are around the same level as i am like the same um same strength level as i am like like um like early game wise but trainers don't have that it's another mallory too oh cyndaquil i love cyndaquil I'm actually considering making, um, Quillava. Oh, yo, color change? Dude. I'm actually con considering making Quillava my mascot, but I, I don't know yet. I think cool that, that it has color change. Another Mallory already? 
There's a lot of Mallards in this game so far. X accuracy, that could work. That could work. Let's see what we got here. Dude, I hate Zigzagoon so much. It's literally my least favorite Pokemon. Out of every single Pokemon, I hate it the most. Let's, let's see what I get from this guy. It's definitely not going to be Bullet Seed. Let's see what that is, though. That could be a little help. Synthesis. Let's see if I can learn Synthesis. Nope. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to mention this in, e in episode 1 when I was making the rules. Um, I'm- I'm allowed to have HM slaves, so... Yeah, I can have HM slaves. And I believe I put it so that all Pokemon can learn every HM, I think. So this girl will give me a, a lot of money, too. You will let me battle. Let me battle with you. So... I think I'm gonna hold off Roxanne until next episode. Yo, this thing's a tank. I might be in trouble with this. Oh, dude. I might have to use speed up on this one, boys. I might have to use speed up on this one. If he's hardening, it's gonna be like... Yeah. Okay, if that's the strongest move, then... Dude. Freaking. Oh. Okay, that did nothing. Alright. Although it does have a chance to confuse me. I'm pretty sure she has a full restore. So that might be a, a little bit of a problem. Yeah, she does. Boat. Boatinist Kim. The, the thing that sucks is that I can't Thundershock this thing, because it's part ground. So, I'm gonna- oh! I, I thought that was a crit for a second. But, it's- it- it's good thing she's using her weak moves. Um... This is just a big old time waste right here. So, I'm de- I'm de- I'm de- I'm, de I'm definitely gonna, um... Push Roxanne to the next episode, episode 4. Because this thing is just a big time waste. I gotta go. Um. I. I. Wait. I'm, I might be able to do the trainers in this episode, though. Um. Just, tra uh, just train up on the trainers in the gym and then push Roxanne in the next episode. I think that's what I'll do. I did not mean to do that. Use. And I'm also going to give Luke an orange berry too. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I will battle. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Manager Daniel. Okay. Dude, that scared me so much. Oh my god, dude, that... <laughs> she sends out a love disc to counteract me killing a Kyogre. I, I, I don't know why I was so scared from that Kyogre. It's like 10... Uh, it was 10 levels lower than me. Now it's 11. But... Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave will be very useful. So, these twins do not battle you unless you have two Pokemon. But this guy battles you, right? Yep. Let's see what this man has. Hopefully, he'll, he'll have an easy water type that I can beat. Or or, ele or flying type. Smoochum. Alright, that's, that's alright. 
Sandstream. Yeah, this episode's already at 15 minutes. I'm gonna end it after I beat beat the uh, the gym trainers. Dude, I hate Zigzagoon so much. If if I ever like make a top ten least favorite Pokemon, Zigzagoon is gonna be number one, one hundred percent. I hate Zigzagoon so much. Wait, how did I miss Thundershock? How how did that first Thundershock not hit? I don't know. I'll have to check in check in post editing. Um. Get buffeted by that sandstorm. Dude, Gen Gen 3 has the best music out of every single generation, except for maybe Gen 5. Gen 5 might have um What does this girl do? See okay, berries. Resto chesto. Dude, I forgot what I was saying. Cherry berries. Dude, I sucks that I forgot what I said. Or what what I was saying. Leopard berries are very useful. Uh so now we are in Rustboro. Go in the mart, buy some potions. I can buy super potions now. I'm actually gonna buy uh, five Pokeballs, just in case. Um, two super potions, and I'm gonna use the rest of it on normal potions. And I'm also gonna buy an antidote too, because poison's scary. So, yeah. That's facts. Uh, I'm gonna actually go heal up real quick and then I'll do that. Do the gym trainers. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to the gym. And get, get, get the trainers out of the way. We have this little youngster right here, although he's definitely not a youngster. He's not a youngster, he is a Chef Anne. Azuro, level 10. No biggie, I got Thundershock. Easy dubs, easy dubs. It's a crit. Dude, I'm facing so many water types early game and this is so good. Cause I can just one shot all of them with Thundershot. And it's such a good thing. And I'm also facing flying types too. Which I'm facing all the types that Electric is good against. And I'm also getting up to level 19 from this too. So I I'm gonna battle this last gym trainer and then I'm gonna end off the episode. Um. Episode 4 will be with Roxanne and the whole cave stuff, the whole Devon parts, all that jazz. Um, Chef Chloe. Two chefs. Scyther. Now, is Scyther bug flying or just bug? I, 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 I don't know. I'll, I, I'll, I'll find out with this. Yep, it's part flying. I can't even kill it. But I can paralyze it, though. Let's go with a nice little tackle. Quick attack. Tackle misses. Dude, are you serious? I'm gonna have to get rid of tackle as, as soon as possible. Because it's 95% accuracy. And I literally can't even kill it. So. I'm gonna go heal. Um, and then I'm gonna end off, end off the episode. Um, so I hope y'all are enjoying this series so far. I hope my advice to y'all in... In the beginning, in the beginning of this episode, uh, was good for y'all. I hope y'all having a great day, great night, wh whatever time you're watching this. Um, 
hope y'all are happy. Because that's something that I've... I'm not that fond of being happy. I, I'm not really happy that often. But you just gotta know it all... all uh, it'll all be fine. Um, just stay, stay positive through this these tough times of coronavirus, COVID nineteen, um, and God is good. I hope you all have a great day, great night, and when it all is said and done, peace.